Hello everyone, in this series we will talk about Zipper Offense. Zipper Offense was introduced and played from the Boston Celtics in the 60s. The main objective of this offense is to provide an opportunity to the main player, usually a guard, to execute or create. The first chance to attack is right off the down screen. In this play, Mike James reads the fact that his defender cuts inside the screen, moves over to the corner where he takes an open three. The second and uh, most uh, obvious opportunity is uh, to continue attacking uh, right after the pick and roll that follows a down screen. The offensive player can do so with a dive, with a drive, like uh, Papaz does in uh, this section, or with uh, an in-between shot against flat defense in the pick and roll, um, just like uh, Mike James does. Casey Rivers chooses the same shot in the next offense. While uh, Lucas Lecavichus uses the pick and roll with speed, attacks the big man and shoots a runner. An in-between shot between the pull-up and a drive. The play with the highest percentage in zipper action and one of the most successful in basketball overall is the pass to the center to the screener um, that rolls inside. The main objective of the screener is to set a good screen. The guard needs to make the opponent big man commit to the ball. This opens up the lane for a cut and most likely a dunk from the screener rolling to the basket. Exactly like this one from Adrian Payne. Even if the lane is to the basket is packed, a center with a good touch, like Ian Vujugas in this case, could play for the short range hook shot from the middle of the paint. This is a very high percentage shot and a very successful one. The defense could commit to the ball harder late in the play, just like Alex Tayus commits to Mike James in this particular clip. Momentarily, the guard draws two players on him, leaving the middle of the paint open for the screener to roll inside and dunk the ball. In a case of a spacing that doesn't suit the offensive ball handler, he needs to be patient. He can run a re-screen exactly like this one and when the center gets in the right spot with momentum that he wants, it's very hard to beat start. Most defenses are afraid of uh, the roll and the high percentage that comes with it and um, they help from, um, they try to deny the passing inside from the low player of the weak side. This opens up another high percentage shot in basketball, the corner three. Passing specialist Nicolathis reads it in this situation, in this play, and the side of Singleton is wide open. The same situation happens when Casey Rivers draws all the defense around his drive. This time Singleton won't miss.
the next play, there is a triple switch of Zalgiris defense. This creates a large distance for a closeout of the guard. Lucas Lecavitus will make the sharp pass for an open corner three. When the weak side focuses too much on the ball, the defense is exposed for off-ball cuts. Taylor misses the eye contact with Calethes. On the other side, Mike James doesn't. This is a very smart action in the zipper play um, that the weak side uses in order to produce a very high percentage shot. Well, sometimes the most e effective play is simply the most simple one. Like um, in this case, after the zipper and the drive that uh, will create a shot right from the foreman that comes up in the top, simple pass right off the bat. Similar action, now Matt Lodzeski attacks away, uses the screen and when this help is coming, just passes the simple pass, one pass distance, good shooter, KC Rivers, this is an open shot. Now, zipper plays cannot only be used for a quick execution as we've seen now. It's a great chance to get into a passing game, the cabbage just draws four defenders around him. The closeout is great. The play keeps on, keeps on going. Another pick and roll that leads to a runner and a very successful finish. Similar action. The play doesn't um, go as planned for Lodzeski. Now Kalethis passes inside. The ball is moved. Corner three that wasn't successful. The zipper play is not only for a pick and roll with the five men. The five men can be available for a down screen and the pick and roll or pick and pop can be played with a four man as well. This play, Singleton at the four, sets the pick and pop. See how Vujukas down low, he's uh, making his defender come close to him and look at how much space Singleton has for an open shot. Likewise, the play can continue in this type of direction. There's a pick and roll with the four men, ball gets back to the point guard, and there's a pick and roll with the five. Corner action, close out, and a dunk on a very successful longer zipper offense with a different formation. Now, what happens if the defense heads out? If the defense is heading out, there is uh, two chances that the offense can do. One is screen the help. That will delay um, the, um, the help of the screener to come and heads out. Exactly like this play right after a timeout in an overtime situation, Olympiakos against Panathinaikos. Now, there is a small variation in this zipper play. It was not going to happen a pick and roll but a quick down screen and a totally wide open shot from uh, Singleton. The second thing that the team can do when uh, people are heading out against them in a zipper, in a zipper situation is exactly this timing, pass to the short roll. Again, the objective is get the ball in the middle of the paint either with a pass or a drive with a pass in this specific action. And now when players are around uh, this man in, with the ball in the, in the middle of the paint, the corner three is wide open, the ball is passed, the shot is made and this will conclude some of the options that uh, coach Xavi Pascual uses at his uh, zipper action. Thanks a lot for watching.